Hi everyone, thanks again for checking out our CFA memory shortcut video. This time around, we're going to talk about a classic mnemonic in level 1, put call parity formula. Basically, put call parity is a theorem that defines a price relationship between a call option, put option, and the underlying stock. With the understanding of this mechanics of the relationship, as assuming no arbitrage exists, one can start to create different synthetic products based on this formula. And so there are different ways that they can be asked in the exam. Here, we only have one simple objective, which is to show you how you can memorize the basic form of this formula in one single picture. First of all, let's look at the formula itself. It is the sum of the stock price and the put option will be equal to the sum of the call option and the present value of the strike price. So here the basic idea is if the strike price is uh, is higher then that means uh, it's more likely that uh, the call cannot be exercised so the call will be cheaper and then the put will be more expensive. So there's a, the, the balance between these two. And uh, in the formula itself, uh, the, to calculate the present value of the strike price, you have to do a k times 1 divided by 1 plus the rate of return. Uh, the rate of return is the, the, the TBU's rate of return uh, for, the, for, the discount, for the discount rate. And then it will go to the power of t. t is time period, which is the, the number of years here. So now let's go into the mnemonics. From the left to right, we take the first letter of the instrument. That is the S for the stock price, P for the put option, and C for the call option, and then K for the strike price. Now we incorporate all these letters into this catchy phrase, SIP a code. So you see the acronyms are incorporated into every other letter in the mnemonics. You got the S and then the P and then C and K. So just remember it in a party. In a party, it sounds like a parity, right? So you associate the party as the Put call parity. A woman sip a coke. But that's not all of the formula because you still got the present value of the strike price to take care of, right? No worries, we have got this covered. Uh, the PV formula is the K divided by 1 plus risk free rate, which is the RFR uh, to the power T. So then you picture a woman at one dollar so she can get another drink which is a raspberry flavored tea so you got the r f r t in it so you can actually apply this into any situation that involves the present value calculation it's just at one buck and then you get a raspberry flavored tea like every time we have created a picture to help you visualize this mnemonic shortcut. Let's look at it again in, in a party. A woman sip a Coke and she can get a raspberry flavored tea by adding one buck. Maybe a benefit for a pretty, pretty woman. So now you can easily memorize the put call parity formula in the exam you can just easily shuffle the algebra to answer the exam question